Welcome back everyone! Christmas is already next week, which means you have a chance to make money on traveling this holiday season. You want to know all about it? <laughs> I thought so. Holiday season is the busiest traveling time of the year and it starts on Thanksgiving and ends on January 1st with a little break in between. All of the flights are full or even oversold. And yes, with the accordance of the Department of Transportation regulations, airlines have a right to oversell their flights by a certain percent of seats. So what does it mean that the flight is oversold? Well, it technically means that the airline sold more tickets than there are seats on board the aircraft. This is an Airbus 319 with a capacity of 132 seats. And why would they do that, you ask me? Well, it's profit. Airlines are always relying on changes in the individual traveling plans. And according to the statistics, about 3 to 5% of passengers do not show up for their flights. Overselling the flights brings millions of dollars of extra profit for the airline industry each year. So what happens if all of the passengers show up for their original flight? Well, according to the Department of Transportation, the airlines first have to ask for volunteers to give up the seat on the original flight for a certain compensation. And this compensation can be really worth it. They normally start at the lowest bid and then go up if they don't have enough volunteers. So for example, they're looking for passengers to give up a seat for $400. But in 10 minutes, this amount can reach a thousand. And if you're flexible with your travel plans, you can definitely take that money and spend extra two, three hours at the airport. But you're probably wondering, what happens if there's still not enough volunteers and the plane is about to depart? Well, there are some certain regulated procedures for that as well. If you already have your seat assignment on your boarding pass, then, well, you have nothing to worry about, you can just simply board the aircraft. But if your boarding pass says that your seat will be assigned by a gate agent, then the selection of involuntarily denied passengers will be done by a computer. And normally, it goes by the timestamp when the passenger was checked in for the flight. If you ever are involuntarily denied boarding, you will be given a much greater compensation by the airline. But sucks to be you because you actually had to be somewhere. I am trying to get home to my eight-year-old son. No, 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 no way. This is Christmas. This process of overselling the flights has existed for years. And it's just recently, back in 2017, everybody became an expert on denied boarding after a video of United Airlines removing a passenger off the flight became viral. It was the horrifying viral moment seen around the world. But not all the airlines have that happen to them. For example, for the past two years, Delta had zero involuntarily denied boarding passengers on their flights, while United had 2,800 and American a little over 5,000. Well, since then, the airlines have changed the rules a little, which made giving up a seat on a flight more appealing to a customer. First, you won't get a voucher anymore that will allow you to purchase an airline ticket for that particular airline within a year. Now, you are compensated with a gift card to pretty much any major stores or corporations. Yeah, the airlines will give out gift cards in order to get your seat on the flight. Actually, this happened to me recently. Hey guys, today I'm traveling to Atlanta airport and I have about two hours to wait for my next flight. So I thought I might share a really cool life hack with you that um, not a lot of travelers know about. Um, anyway, on the way back, um, I was sitting in the airport and obviously the flights are oversold and I decided to give up my seat um, like very last minute for a flight and well, I got $400. So it's a pretty good um, life hack and I hope you guys don't be afraid to volunteer and talk to the agents. Um, I'm only getting home three hours later, but with $400 in the pocket, I think it's the best job I've ever had in my life because I just made um, over $100 an hour. So if you like to make some money this holiday season, don't be afraid to volunteer to give up your seat and negotiate. Make sure your alternative confirmed flight works with your traveling plans and buy some a little extra present for yourself this holiday season. You deserve it. 
Happy travels everyone, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button and I'll see you next time.